Metro Council approved four pieces of legislation aimed at boosting public safety. They include an ordinance to create buffer zones to maintain public safety around public buildings and parking lots, an adjustment to Metro's mask wearing ordinance, an ordinance prohibiting the placement of distracting signs over a highway, and an ordinance prohibiting the distribution of handbills on private property before sunrise or after sunset. National Mayor Freddie O'Connell proposed these measures, saying he hopes they simultaneously protect First Amendment rights to peacefully gather and speak. He stated that political tensions are high and this legislation will help Metro discourage behavior that can spark violence. This came after recent incidents of Nazis marching in Nashville. March through our town right after we saw uh, stop let go hands, you know, when we were singing for the fourth, you know, let freedom ring. So they picked this city. You got to know that. And they came here, so we need to discourage. We need to discourage that activity. Certainly freedom of speech, they should have it, but it cannot be used as a weapon. We have a Bill of Rights, and we want to protect the right to protest. And this bill is overbroad, and it will be challenged to its constitutionality, and it's going to result in the city being sued. Metro Council also approved a resolution that declares racism as a public health crisis in Davidson County. Metro Councilwoman Delicia Porterfield said it was filed as a way to be proactive. The resolution includes pledging to dismantle racism and addressing its associated health disparities through specific actions. Council also approved a resolution asking the police department to implement a new zero tolerance sexual misconduct policy. The department says they already have one. You can read that full story right now on our website, WKRN.com. Neil. Thank <laughs> you.